In this tutorial we're going to look at track mats and animating track mats. Now exactly what is a track mat? A track mat is a way of cutting through one layer to see something underneath. Now eventually we're going to be chroma keying this puppet out from his green background. But what we want to do for this particular one is say hide his face. Say he's a criminal and we want to interview him and we don't want to see his face. So we need to use some kind of mat to mat out his face and pixelate it so that it can't be seen. And there's a number of different ways of doing it, I'm just going to do a basic one. So we need to create something to go over the top of this particular puppet's face that we can cut through to see a layer underneath. And we're going to show you that as we go through. So if we think about this, we're going to need three layers. We're going to need the top layer, which is going to be the bit that covers his face. And then the middle layer will be the footage layer and then the layer below will be the layer that we see. Now it could be this layer with an effect on it. So let's do that. Let's say that we're going to use this layer here, the, the actual puppet layer with an effect on for the bottom layer. So what we actually need to do at the moment is duplicate this layer. Now to duplicate in CS6, it's as simple as holding the Alt key, or the Option key on the Mac, and dragging. So I'm Alt dragging, I've now got two versions of the footage. Don't want to see the top version, we'll deal with that in a minute but let's look at the bottom version and let's add something that's going to allow us to pixelate if you like his face and I think a really good effect for that if we go to the effects is the mosaic so M O S mosaic there you go stylize mosaic if I take stylize mosaic and drop it on the bottom layer here it's the only layer I can see instantly he's pixelated out clearly this is too little I'm going to try it 100 100 and see what it's like So 100 and 100. Is that too much? Yeah, that's too much. So let's take it to say 30 and 30. 30 and 30. There you go. That's given us a nice pixelation. So if we were to see that underneath, we could see he's got a face, but we wouldn't be able to see exactly which puppet this was. By the way, this is ProRes 422 footage playing natively in Premiere Pro, just in case you're wondering about all the audio, it's uh, ProRes with four mono channels. So there you go, we've got the puppet going around, he eventually gets shot, but that's neither here nor there. So now what we need to do is turn the middle layer back on, the original footage, and we can create something that's going to allow us to mask out his face. Now to do this, what we want to do is create a matte layer. It can be any colour you like in actual fact. I'm going to go to my bin, and you'll see I've actually got a white matte here, but just to show you it can be any colour you like, I'm going to go down to the new items icon here and actually create black video and it says do you want it the same size as the sequence of course I do and then I'm going to take the black video and drop it on the layer above and take it out to take the whole length of the footage I can't see through it so therefore I select it go up to my effects controls take the opacity and I can turn it down to say whatever level I want so I can see through it we'll turn this up a bit later on now I'm going to use an effect to do this but you can use a 4 point or an 8 point or a 16 point garbage mat I think a very simple one particularly for faces would be to go to effects and use the circle effect so I'm going to click off here and go circle in the next tutorial by the way I will demonstrate using a different approach using one of the I think an 8 point garbage mat so there are other approaches to do the same thing I'm going to take the circle effect I'm going to drop it on top of the black video and notice that the circle effect instantly goes to white anyway so even if you had a black mat, doesn't matter what it is, whatever you put the circle effect on, it's going to be white. And I can turn the opacity up if I want to see it a bit more clearly. What I then need to do is make sure that the centre of the circle is over his face. So I can drag left and right with the first value, and I can drag up and down with the second value, and I can increase the radius so that it actually covers his face and just make sure that it's at the point we want it to be so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and there we go that's actually over his face and now what we do is we simply animate it so we click the stopwatch next to center to say I am going to be animating this property a keyframe is created in case you can't see the keyframe there is a show and hide button so if it's like this you've got a show button here or you can hide it it's completely up to you and then I'm going to pull forward a bit until the puppet moves He's moved a little bit out of the way, so I can just pull him sideways, pull this mat sideways, go a little bit further forward, and again pull the mat sideways to cover his face. 
Now the only thing I need to be very careful about is opacity. Notice that opacity animation is on by default and when I'm finished I don't want to animate opacity, I want it to be at 100% the whole way through. So I'm actually going to toggle off the stopwatch, you sure it says you're going to delete all animation, yes, for opacity. I'm not changing the center but when I turn this up to 100% it's not going to animate, it will stay at 100%. Now what I can do is I can pull backwards and forwards and just check to see the animation's about right and then when I go a bit further he moves a bit more I can simply go in and change it. I'm not going to do loads, just giving you an idea of how it works. We'll do one little bit more. He moves moves into sight just there so we can put it across. Anyway, you get the idea for how it works. Now, the next thing that we want to do is actually create soft edges. And you can do it with this technique. We've got a solid, 100% opaque, white circle and we want the edges to be soft so what we can do is we can add a fast blur so I'm going to click out from where it's got circle in here and I'm just going to type fast F-A-S-T and don't go for your presets you don't want fast blur in and out you just want fast blur so there's blur and sharpen take fast blur and drop it on what in the moment says black video and then all we need to do is go to the fast blur in our effects controls and just turn it up until the edge is nice and soft doesn't need to be huge probably get away with something like 20 pixels or so uh, maybe yeah 20 pixels that should probably do the trick so now we've got a nice soft edge on our mat and what we want to do now is we want to ask the middle layer which is just the footage to look at the track above which is the circle and to cut a hole in itself the size of that circle to see our pixelated footage at the bottom and we do that with the track mat effect so you need to select the middle layer and it's important that it's the middle layer that you select and then we can type in here track so if I type T-R-A-C-K by the time I've got to that I've got to keying track mat key take the track mat effect track mat key and drop it on the middle layer and then it opens up in the effects controls and it says okay how do you want to do this are you going to be looking at the alpha or are you going to be looking at the luminance? So are you going to look at the transparency around the circle or are you going to look at the luminance, the whiteness of the circle? It doesn't really matter for this one because we've got a white circle. However, if the circle was a different color, you would just go for the alpha. White will key out perfectly, but, but say brown or gray or whatever will give you semi-transparency. And then under the track mat key, you simply need to say, OK, what layer do I need to look at? And it's only going to give you the layers above where it is, which is a clue why you can't ever put it on the top layer. So I'm in the middle layer, and it's looking at the top layer, which is video 3. And I click that, and it's done exactly the opposite to what we want. We can still see the original footage, and everything else is pixelated. But notice there is an invert button. And when you click the invert button, it's going to pixelate his face so that we can't see, or we can keep this puppet anonymous because obviously he's going to be shot later on as you can see but we haven't animated the, the circle that far so that's how we can create a nice soft mat cut through the footage layer with the aid of the mat above to see something pixelated below and that's the track mat effect you can do it with any footage I just have to choose this footage because I'm going to be using it for an ultra key demonstration so that's how you can cut through the video footage to reveal your treated footage underneath and you can animate the mat so that we can keep his identity hidden all the way through.